So this is part two in the card series. So if you want to see the first video, if you haven't seen it already, um, then go back and see part one to that video. If I remember, I'll put a link up there, I'll probably forget. Uh, so basically what I do is whenever you learn something and you want it to stick in your head, I write it down on uh, one of these blank playing cards. And then every now and then, if you're just sitting there, you can keep them in your pocket, you can just keep them on your desk. Every now and then, just flick through and just read them. Because in order to have new information sink into your head, you've got to kind of reread it or keep re-listening to it over and over and over for it to naturally become second nature. Uh, you know, in business, if you want to do well, if you want to become part of the 1% and you want to leave the 99%, uh, we're stuck in the 99% because of what information we've been given our whole lives. Information has repeatedly been hammered into us. So now subconsciously, that is the beliefs that we have. So in order to become part of the 1%, you need to shift your whole entire mindset. And it's going to require persistently hammering this new information into your brain persistently uh, for you to be able to change. And the older you are, the harder it gets. Uh, you know, when you're young, when you're a kid, you learn stuff, you pick it up quickly. As you become older, you know, you always say old people are sort of stuck in their ways. The older you become, the harder it is to learn more information. And your head kind of, like your brain, it kind of glazes over and it kind of locks in all the information that you've learned over the years. So the older you get, the more difficult it is to take in new information. But you still can. Look at Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world. He still reads books for the majority of his working day because he's still learning more and more and more and more. So I'm not saying because you're older you can't learn. I'm just saying it's a little bit harder. So, you know, the older you are, the more relevant this probably is just to hammer some of these mindsets into your head. So uh, these are some of my favourite ones. I've, ri I've, I've written these down ages ago. Uh, I just want to go through with some of you guys what some my, some of my favourite ones are that are going to help some of you guys out. So I'm not going to drag this video out too long. It's probably going to probably do half of these and then it's probably going to be a part three. I'm going to try and get through them as quick as possible. I've been waffling. Oh, God, waffling for over two minutes already. So, all right. So the one I've got here, he who chases two rabbits catches none. So... When you're doing something in business, just go after one thing at a time. If you're trying to diversify and go after too much stuff at the same time, you're going to end up with nothing. So just go after one thing at a time, get good at that one thing, and then move on to the next thing. Do one thing at a time, though. Weak people seek revenge. Strong people forgive. Intelligent people ignore. As, uh, Albert Einstein said that. And I fully agree with that. Uh, usually, if I get haters on the channel, for example, I ignore them. Um... Yeah, sometimes I've I've given revenge out. I've been guilty in the past. You know, nobody's perfect. Uh, so that's something maybe that I should work on more is when people are giving me crap is to ignore it. Normally I do, uh, but not always. It's not that I'm smart. It's just that I stay with problems for longer. That's another saying by Albert Einstein. And I think that's pretty true with me. People think that I'm more smart because I've got a Lambo and I've got my own business and I'm doing well on YouTube and I've got all this other stuff, people think that I'm doing really, really well. And, you know, because they, they think I must be clever or something. And it, I wouldn't say I'm any more clever than an average person at school. I was just average. Uh, I was never really that great at anything, really. Uh, and it's just that I've stuck with problems for longer. I've persisted. You know, when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't become successful instantly overnight. It took sort of two or three years to become good at it. But because I stuck with it and stuck with it and stuck with it, uh, gradually I became better. So, you know, a lot of people, they start a business, they might start an eBay store, they might try it for one week and then they chuck in the towel. Uh, when really, you, you, you've got to really stick it a little bit longer. Some people see success in the first couple of weeks, other people it's a couple of months. So other people it's a couple of years, some people it's never. So, you know, ultimately, if something, if something that you want to do, if it's proven to work because somebody else has pulled it off, if you can't make it work, it's because you're doing something wrong. And it's up to you to figure out what that thing is that you're doing wrong and to stick with it long enough to overcome whatever that problem is. So then you can better yourself and actually be good at whatever it is that you want to be good at. So, um, yeah. Deal with haters by not dealing with them at all. I think, well, I think I remember Jake Paul saying that. And um, yeah, very good point. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink it. Uh, so, you know, often uh, 
people say to me, oh, if, if, you're, if you're eBay, if it's so good, why don't all your friends do it? Uh, you know, you can, I've, I've given my courses to any one of my friends that wants it. Some, some of my friends are doing it. You know, I've got many friends that, that don't want to come on YouTube. I've got friends that are on YouTube. Some of my friends are doing it. Some people are not doing it. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's got to come from within. You can't make anybody do anything. You can show them something. And if they want to take action, they can take action. If they don't, they don't. So, you know, for example, if I'm trying to teach someone how to do eBay, most of the time, they're not interested. You know, if I talk to people, you know, just randomly, and, and I sort of say, to, and you know, if I hear people complaining about money, I'm like, dude, get on eBay, it's so easy. They just come up with excuses. Oh, it's not gonna work. Oh, I haven't got the time. Oh, I haven't got the money. They're just looking for ex excuses. Where there's a will, there's a way. You know, I'm always a firm believer of that. And, you know, I think people have to, within, have to make up their own mind what they want to do or not. You, you can't make up anybody else's mind. So, um, you know, not everybody's wired up to do business. You know, if I'm telling somebody to do eBay, they might not have a business mind. They might just be happy going to work, doing a nine to a five, putting their feet up after, watching TV. You know, maybe they want that. And, you know, some, some of my friends do. Some of my friends just want to do that, work a nine to a five, go home and forget about it. And they're happy just with what they've got. Uh, and they don't they don't want all the hassle of setting up a business and and, and putting money into it and learning it all. So you know, uh, that is why that is. Uh, the thief will always be the suspicious. So if somebody calls you a scammer, without good reason, it's probably because they're a scammer themselves. Uh, you know, so whatever somebody is accusing you of, without good reason, it's probably just a reflection of what they are themselves. If somebody's giving you crap, and it's just it's just complete lies, 99% um, of the time, it's what they actually believe about themselves, and they're just putting it onto you because they're trying to be mean. So, you know, normally when somebody accuses you of something, they're just admitting to themselves what they actually are. To get what you want, you have to deserve what you want. That's from Charlie Munger. He's actually the business partner of Warren Buffett. So, you know, with this entitled generation now, people think the world owes them something. No, it doesn't. Uh, you know, if you want something, you're gonna have to go out there and you're gonna have to work for it. And even then you might not get it. So, um, you know, to get what you want, you have to deserve what you want, which means you have to put the effort in to be able to get whatever it is that you want. So, you know, just because you want a new Lambo doesn't mean you automatically automatically going to get it you're going to have to create some like a business where you can give a product of value or of service where other people are going to want to buy your product or service and only then if people want to buy your product or service and you can sell enough of it and if you can make enough money then for whatever it is that you want to buy then you deserve it and not a minute before learn every day and this is probably one of the most strong ones you know, every day you should be learning. Every single day you want to learn something new. You know, I always have a little book laying by the sides. You know, even if you just read it for 10 minutes a day. Uh, you know, just keep learning, 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 learning. If you look at a multimillionaire and you look at someone that's poor, the only reason the multimillionaire is a multimillionaire and the poor person is poor is because the multimillionaire knows stuff that the poor person doesn't. If you was to take all the stuff away from the multimillionaire and give it all to the poor person, it wouldn't take too long and the multimillionaire will be rich again and the poor person will be poor again. It's not what you have, it's not the money you have, but it's what's in here, it's what you know. That is, you know, what you know is what, what gets you to where you are. You, can, you cannot climb the ladder of success with your hands in your pockets. You must work your ass off, from Arnold Schwarzenegger. That is so true. People that think they can just do a get-rich-quick scheme, they can click on a few buttons, and the, the millions are going to come, come rolling in, you're deluded. You know, if, if you want to better yourself, if you want to succeed at anything, you've got to actually work for it and work for it hard. Uh, so I think we're going to do a couple more here, and we're going to be done. Be inwardly humble, not outwardly humble. Uh, I'm going to leave it that one. That's, that's a little bit more to explain on that one. That might go on a little bit. So um, before we finish up, a quick little plug to my course, which is the 75 Habits. I go into this sort of stuff in a lot more details. Over the years, there's been like, since I've been doing business, I've found there to be 75 habits and traits that the highly successful people have. And I've learned these from reading many books, taking many online courses from other people, and by talking to many multimillionaires. And as I've been learning more of these habits and traits myself, my businesses have just 
made more and more money. My YouTube channel's been getting better. My eBay store's been getting better. It's just my bank account's just been growing and growing and growing. I've been making better choices with investments. It's just, you know, the more you learn, the more you earn. That's what Warren Buffett says. And, um, you know, pretty much the, the rich, those in the 1% have a completely different mindset to those in the 99%. And as you learn more of these mindsets, yeah, you're just going to make more and more and more money. So I'm going to put a link to that program down below. It's pretty much 75 videos plus bonus videos. You can watch one video a day or you can watch as many as you like. Each video goes on from, say, five minutes to maybe 30 minutes. And all you got to do sit there, listen, take some notes, you know, when you get some key points, just write them down onto a bit of paper or onto a card, and then you can refresh yourself and just embed this information into your brain, and then hopefully over, over time, over the next 75 days, you're going to start downloading all this information that the highly successful people have. So then, when you want to start a business, you're going to stand a much better chance of succeeding. If you look at those already in the 1%, they pick up a business, it usually works. If you look at somebody in the 99%, you know, we've all had it. We've all had that friend. And even me, myself, you've had a 9 to 5 job, you've gone out, you've tried to start a business and it failed. And I was like that. I've tried probably 10, 20 different business ideas. I've tried them and tried them and tried them and failed and failed and failed and failed. And, failed. and now... As I'm learning more of this mindset stuff, and as my my brain is shifting more towards the mindset set of somebody in the 1%, um, business ideas are more likely to work. I've got businesses becoming more successful. Everything's just getting better and better and better. Uh, so all that stuff that I have learned and that I've learned from all these other people is all in that program. And you can just download all that into your brain with just watching a few videos and making a few notes. And it's also a super, super low price as well. And there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So whatever the reason, if you have a look, th look through it and you think to yourself, meh, you know what, it's not for me. No questions asked. One email you've got to send me and you get your money back. So uh, that is it for this video. Uh, click on the link down below. Build yourself that better future. Get to those goals that you've always wanted in life. Uh, the only one stopping you is yourself, your own self-limiting mindset. Open your mind, learn new stuff, and just, just have the life of your dreams.